Hey guys, I'm Myself here, and today I wanted to take a look at the previous beta, iOS 11 Beta 5, in comparison to iOS 11 Beta 6. I usually do these videos every time Apple releases a new beta, and today it's going to be no different. So we're going to do the standard comparison, the power-up test, performance test, and of course a battery test. I have a time lapse towards the end of the video for you guys, so you see which one performed better in terms of battery. Now both of these are off iOS 11 beta 6 is going to be on the left as I mentioned and iOS 11 beta 5 on the right. So we're going to power up here to count of three. One, two, three. And they're off. So we're going to go ahead and wait to see which one boots up faster. So iOS 11 beta 5 actually booted up faster by maybe a second or so. So there you have it. What I want to do now is go ahead and browse through the operating system just to see if there's any lag uh, between uh, any of the animations here with the OS. And as you can see, of course, everything should be flowing just fine as it is. Animation loading speeds here for applications are pretty much identical. So let's go ahead and do the multitasker at a count of three. One, two, three. Just about the same speed. One more time. There we go, closing apps. Everything is flowing just fine on both devices, animations, bringing down the notification center, bring it up control center, just doing everything. How about the 3D touch, 3D touch, one, two, three. So definitely an improvement in 3D touch. There was always a lag in beta four and beta five. It looks like it, it is improving a little bit in beta six. Let's do that again, one, two, three. You definitely see the difference there on the 3D Touch. Apple is improving that. It was, again, laggy in Beta 4 and Beta 5 as well. Next, I want to do something I haven't done in other videos, and that's going to be browsing through Safari, uh, the speed of the scrolling and also the browser speed. So I want to go into the Safari extension and clear out all history and all web data just to make this test fair. So we're going to go to Safari here, and we're going to open Apple.com at the same time to see which one loads faster. All right, so it looks like we're ready at a count of three. One, two, three. And they're off. Let's see which one loads faster the website. It looks like beta five by maybe half a second. So nothing drastic, nothing major. Now we know that the scrolling is different in iOS 11 in comparison to iOS 10. So let's see if that's changed from beta five to beta six. Definitely a little more speed in beta six in my opinion but that could just be the way I'm swiping on the screen. Anyway, let's go ahead and run the test that you guys are waiting for. Geekbench application here. Let's close out all applications that are running in the background just to make it 100% fair. And we're gonna go ahead and launch all right here. Let's see which one finishes the test first and the actual scores as well. One, two, three, and they're off. So it looks like iOS 11, once again, Beta 5 finishes first with a single core score of 3528 and a multi-core score of 6021. Now, iOS 11 Beta 6, single core score 3515, slightly below a Beta 5, and then a 6000 for the multi-core scores. It's not a major change in the performance, but definitely Beta 5 uh, looks to be performing a little better. And we've seen that through uh, the boot up test. We've seen that uh, through uh, some of the other tests here, finishing the Geekbench test itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now the time lapse for the battery performance. Let's see which one of these betas performed better in terms of battery performance. As always, both devices were charged to 100%, as you can see here. I did the same task on both, listen to music, watch videos, download load applications, browse the web, all that stuff that you will normally do. And I also made sure that both devices, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi was enabled and brightness was up 100% on both the displays. And as you can see from this test, iOS 11 beta 6 actually performed a slightly better in terms of battery performance, which is always a good thing. We got about an extra five to six minutes of extra on-screen time with beta 6. So definitely an improvement in battery performance. And that about brings it into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video much more videos coming your way be sure to stay tuned it's been i device help and i'll see you guys real soon peace